Hello, Chrissy and Pepper. You both look stunning, first of all. I just have to start off by saying that. Good light. <laughs> right in front of my window. So I love it. First of all, congrats on a new season of Chrissy's Court. Such a fun show. How does it feel being back for season two? It's so much fun. We love being on Roku. It's like a 10 episode drop. So we're, I love when shows run like that because it's really the kind of show that you can just like blast through and have so much fun Relax, watching. Fun. Yep. Yeah. And we are, it's honestly just like we got to do the, the Roku upfronts and go out and explain and talk about the show. And I just remember it being so real then because mm -hmm. it's, it had been a while since we filmed that season and, mm -hmm. and getting to be up there with like other Roku talent and stuff was so exciting. And it was just, it's so fun. I can't believe that it's finally coming out. And obviously an iconic mother daughter duo. What is it like getting to work with your mom and Pepper? What's it like getting to work with Chrissy? It's so fun because she lives with us. Yeah. So it's like, we just are like, are you, are you ready to go to work? Like that's pretty cool. <laughs> Um, and like it's fun today to share a dressing I can't make room. my room. I'm just going to work. Yeah, we're just going to work together. Yeah, going to work is just different for mom in general. <laughs> Never work. <laughs> just me, mom. Yep. Now, Chrissy, you're obviously a mom to some super cute kids. I know kids sometimes they can get into some disagreements and mom has to play the mediator. Do you think your experience as a mom has helped prepare you for how to decide to settle to some things in the courtroom? Well, that's the thing. When we were doing season two, I mean, it was like a year ago and my kids weren't fighting yet. So that's why I'm like season three, it's on because I have really been confronted with a lot of conflict. Now my kids are something clicked in the last like two months where they realize, or they maybe think that we're only going to pick one of them in the end or something. And they are just so competitive and so everything. I mean, it is, it's, I mean, anyone with two kids or, or multiple children understand that mm -hmm. it's just like a, a constant juggle of like the most ridiculous fights you've ever heard in your life and, and the little mumblings to each other and the, the back talk and like, that's all really picking up for us a lot now. So season three, I'm like, I'm, I can already predict, like, I'm definitely going to be a lot more unhinged when it comes to not having time for anyone's bull crap. <laughs> I saw recently also that Miles accidentally locked, knocked out Luna's tooth. Is she yes, okay? Yeah. yeah, in a rare accidental move. Usually it's right on purpose. Down the bottom of the pool too. Yeah, and it went. And it, she had to dive down herself. Yeah, she was the first to say, though, it was an accident though. But yeah, he was so proud that he got to have something to do with it. And he was, yeah, he was just like doing his regular swim moves and had slapped her in the mouth. <laughs> And it just like, I mean, it was hanging on by a thread. It was looking ridiculous. She couldn't brush it. It was like getting dirty because it was just so sensitive to everything. So it was, it was the right move on his part. A blessing in disguise, basically. Um, yes. Now, Chrissy, uh, I was also going to ask, could you both talk a little bit about some of the cases that we're going to see unfold this season? What is, was there anything that shocked you both? We have a really fun one. I think the most informative one for me was the one on NFTs and and although I still honestly don't get it at all. So you thought he was investing in Completely crypto, he did NFTs. Right. He did NFTs against my will. I asked him not to when he told right. me. So all I know about this is that like Paris Hilton sold one for like a million dollars. Um, I think we shot it at a time where like NFTs and, and cryptocurrency was really promising. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so sorry not to laugh at it now. No, <laughs> no. So it's like, it's, it's I mean, it's, uh, but I'm scared to even say it, they're all gonna come for me. Um, it's, a, it's quite its own world still, but like these two guys were just like so informative about it. And the more they talked, it's like the less I learned. And, but like it got to the point where I was like, okay, I get the general concept of it now. I, I know more than I did coming in to this episode. So that's good. But it is funny to see like how the changing times, um, I'm sure if they, when they watch the episode, they're gonna cringe at themselves. So it's gonna be a really funny one to watch. <laughs> I love it. Now, does John watch the show? What is his reaction when he watches back and sees you both in the courtroom? Oh God, he was there for most of them. He's an audience for a lot of them. I'm a star witness. Yeah, um, I love it. A witness in one of them. I mean, yeah, he was he was there almost every episode. So it's we make it a really fun atmosphere. My kids were in the back a lot. They had a little playroom. And, yeah. Um, it was just it's such a fun set to be on because yeah. of all the the personalized photos um, the dog. of yeah, our dogs was there. And our, <laughs> but dressed as like colonial like judges and, and things. So. <laughs> It's all very weird. Love how it's so upbeat and fun at the same yeah. time as being like a court show. It's so fun. Yeah. 
I also have to ask because Father's Day is coming up. Chrissy, what do you think makes John the best dad? Is it like being on set and being able to connect at the same time, work and play still all together? Oh gosh, he is just the best person for me. Like he's the best husband, the best dad. He's very present. It's almost to the point where, you know, our kids don't know what it's like to have parents that go off to work every day because we're so one of us is always here and you know I'm able to it's I do a lot of my work from my own home home kitchen which is really nice and John when he's not shooting a tv show yeah. the voice or something he's been very you know, involved he's with the kids home right now. a lot like I mean he picks them up every single morning and yes. um, I think we're just so lucky that we're able to have that kind of schedule and stuff and so it gets it makes us Maybe it's you know, close to Father's Day. It is close to Father's Day. That's why they're asking. <laughs> she just picked up on it. <laughs> but no, he's so great and so patient with them. And he makes sure to be like, he makes sure that they're the priority. And, and they always know that too, no matter how busy daddy gets or however people, many people he's performing for, he's always going to come home to them. And he's always going to... He's going to be there to read the stories when he can and drop them off at school. And it's, it's awesome. I love that. I love your family. I love how close all of you are. Um, do you have any Father's Day traditions or plans upcoming or are you keeping that little bit secret? I guess, I don't know. It's, it's like, he doesn't really, I don't expect anything for Mother's Day. Um, I just really love to relax and do nothing. Like he knows not to book a dinner out or anything because that's not what I want. My, what I want is to like sit on the couch and watch TV and and make him, he makes like a, a Spanish, like uh, he'll do like a tapas meal and what we do things like that. That's tradition for Mother's Day. And for Father's Day, it's kind of like a lot of the same. Like he does what he wants to do. Like he, I will say, John loves a dinner date more than anybody yeah, I know. And yeah. he he is different than me. That he would he would just love to go out one on one with me, and that's a very easy thing to accomplish. So, yeah, presents and gifts and stuff he doesn't expect, and it's really not about that. And and it's just nice to be able to spend time together. I love that. And I also have to say, Chrissy, you were looking fierce, not only in the courtroom, but also on social media. Um, what is your secret to how you're keeping things super healthy these days? Um, I think not drinking is helping a lot because that goes into a lot of things like all those like crazy late night, you know, drunken cravings and, and those like things where you're just like, ah, this sounds like a good idea. And then you're really just like feel like sorry, feel like crap after. Um, I think it's just like a lot more clarity going into like the things that you want to put into your body and the things that you want to do to be fit and healthy. And plus like I have a four-year-old and a six-year-old now and it's different than when they were little, little and we were just craw crawling around in one area together. They're very active kids and like Luna doesn't walk anymore. She just does cartwheels mm -hmm. everywhere. <laughs> That's like how she gets from point A to point B and you have to be able to keep up with things like that. So... So yeah, it's a, it's, it's a lot of just being a lot more active and present and aware and in your own body. It's, it does wonders. Both of you are obviously big supporters of John into shows, as I mentioned you, and as you obviously know, you're such a close knit family. Chrissy, how does it feel having all those love songs dedicated to you? How does it like, is it just make you like your heart swoon every time? No, <laughs> I think a lot of people um, like, I, everyone loves like if especially like with his residency in Vegas now it has all like the bells and whistles there's like video footage there's like sexy dancers there's so many different things going on and yet people will always turn around to look at how I'm like reacting to certain things to see like if I'm crying at certain songs and and there's definitely those moments of of that but like when I hear, like, for example, All of Me has become everybody's song. And that, I think that is, to me, the most beautiful thing. Like, it, that it was ours. And, and when he sang it to me the first time that I ever heard it, I sobbed. And now that ever we get to share that with everybody, I think that's what's cool. And that's what's beautiful about it. I don't think of it as, like, a this is for me thing anymore. Mm -hmm. um, I, we, like, he gifts them to the world and then they become everybody's. And I think that's fine. And I, I think it is very cool. And then he also has a ton of songs where I'm like, oh, this one's not about me. Or this one, like he has a song, um, 
video and uh, she's saying dope. Where was she? <laughs> no, that's about me. Oh, dope really? is about me. No, really? I, don't, I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> Um, but like, uh, he has this one song where he's just like, she moves in incredible ways or something. And I'm like, that's not about me because I cannot dance. I cannot, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that dancing oh, song. That dance. Oh, oh my God. All she want to do is dance. It. Yeah, yeah. No, that's not me. I do not like to move. <laughs> Last question really quickly. You were a hot girl summer style star recently in this. I don't know if you can see this, this outfit you were rocking with these. Oh, cool. Can you break down this look? Fans were loving it. Oh, I know. It was something, I think of the shorts. And you know what's funny is like, when I was, when I had first met John, I, he, we would describe that outfit as like a, when Chrissy first met John type of outfit. I was like all in, always in like a hot pant or a short and thigh high boots and mm -hmm. like something like a little more covering up top. Um, but yeah, it felt like young me again, <laughs> especially with like the darker hair again and everything. I was like, oh, I feel like. I feel like old me. So yeah, it's always nice to get to go throw back into those times again.